Now, as you are aware, Windows 11 has a few requirements that it needs for you to be able to upgrade to it. For starters, your machine or your computer needs to have at least 4 gigs of RAM to start off with and 64 gigs of storage. In addition to that, it should have secure boots, trust platform module, and a host of other things that will make it difficult for you to upgrade. So maybe you've already run the PC Health Check app and found out that your machine cannot be upgraded to Windows 11. Not to worry, in this video, I'll show you how to do that. So what we will need is a USB stick. Just make sure that it's eight gigs and above and an internet connection as well as access to another Windows computer. So I'm going to move to the computer right now and show you how to finish the rest of the process and upgrade to Windows 11. So let's do it. Okay, now that we are on the computer, uh, let's take our flash and insert it into our computer. Uh, okay, I'm going to navigate to the flash, right? Let me just scroll down and I'm going to right click and click on format. Now we want to format it as FA32, right? And uh, click start. Okay. All right. Formatting is complete. Now that it's complete, we are going to go to our browser. And uh, we're going to type uh, download Windows 11. All right, click OK. Now this is probably the first result that comes out on Google. Just click on that one. Right, and when we do that, uh, let's scroll down. Uh, the first one read, written Windows 11, installation assistant, we don't want that one. The second one written, create Windows 11, Installation media, we don't want that one as well, but we want the third one here written download Windows 11 disk or ISO for x64 devices. So you're just going to click here and click and download. Now I've already downloaded this, by the way, uh, it's already on my desktop, but you have to download Windows. So just click download and when it finishes downloading, it should be around six gigabytes um, right there. Now the next thing you need to do, open a new tab and uh, search for Rufus. Rufus, press enter. That is the first result that will come out on Google as well. This one written Rufus.ie. Just click on that link. It will take you to the Rufus page. Now you need to scroll down. Scroll down to where it's written download here. Now make sure that you download the latest Rufus. Just simply click on it. And when you're done uh, downloading Rufus, I'm just going to minimize because I've already downloaded Rufus. It's on my desktop, as you can see. Now, when you're done, uh, this is Rufus here on the desktop. When you're done, make sure that you have the uh, ISO for the Windows 11 that uh, you downloaded from their website and Rufus as well. Now, when you get that, uh, simply go to the Rufus 2 and uh, right click and say run as administrator it's going to ask you do you want to make this app change to your device just say yes so this is rufus it has launched as you can see it's uh, reading our uh usb device here it's got this name cc.amax64 whatever but this is our 8 gig um usb device so what we need to do now is to simply Come here where it says select, click on it, and uh, we're going to go to the desktop and identify the Windows 11 ISO. This one written Windows 11 23H2 English International. Just depends on the version that you uh, that you download, but that's the version that I downloaded. Click on it and press open. Now it's going to scan for a bit, and now it's ready to copy Windows 11 to our USB drive. Now this is the key part. And if you miss this part, it will not work. So when you click start, what will happen is that you get this pop-up window that says remove requirement for four gig secure boot and TPM 2.0. And also tick the second one that says remove requirement for an online Microsoft account. Now what Rufus will do is it will go into the uh, ISO and remove bits that require those requirements. 
it will remove files that require those re requirements. So we're going to click OK. Make sure that it's ticked. These two boxes are ticked and click OK. So in now saying another program will process accessing the drive. Do you want it to format? Just press yes and press OK. Now the process of copying the ISO to the flash disk has started. Now this will take a bit of time. So what I'm going to do here is just pause the video and return when it finishes copying to the USB device. Right, our Windows USB device is now ready for use. So we're just going to go to Rufus and just close this. All right, now that it's done copying, let's go to our USB device. Uh, okay, just open the file and just go to the left navigate. As you can see here, this is the Windows uh, installation USB. Let's just click on it. It's working on it. Now, this is the file structure that you see inside the USB device. At this stage, uh, what you need to do if you have... Um, a different computer that you want to install Windows 11 to, you can simply eject the USB drive and go to that computer. Just insert it. There's no need to restart the computer. Just insert it uh, into the drive on that computer and navigate to the USB. This is what you see. This is the setup. So you go to here where it says setup, right click on it and run as administrator. Now this will take you through the Windows 11 installation process and once it's done, you simply, it will restart uh, your computer. Just make sure that you have enough space to install the Windows 11. Otherwise, that's it, guys. This is how you install Windows on an old computer without even meeting the requirements. So just like that, that is how you upgrade your old computer to Windows 11. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It will help out with the algorithm. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.